It's been a competitive year for affordable TV, which is good news for shoppers on a budget. Two of the better mid-range TV we've extensively tested recently are the Hisense Uzix H and the Sony Zadik. While these budget-friendly TV share many of the same qualities, one of them is a better, safer pick for most shoppers. Here's everything you need to know about their price, performance, and features. Price. Being new releases, you probably won't see either of these TV marked down just yet. That said, they're among the most affordable models you'll see from both Hisense and Sony, and their price tags are low compared to some of the heaviest hitters in the TV business. The Uzix H is available in four sizes ranging from 50 inches to 75 inches. Its largest model is priced over $1,000 when not on sale, but that's relatively low compared to 75-inch TV with better hardware, more features. The ZDK is available in six total size options, with a counterpart to every size featured in the Uzix H series. The ZDK Series 2 additional options are its 43 and 85-inch models perfect for shoppers looking for a more modest or ostentatious display. Currently, the 55-inch models are priced the same. Sony offers cheaper 65 and 75-inch options, while Hisense offers a cheaper 50-inch option. Unless you've got your heart set on a 43 or 85-inch TV, this one's a wash. Both of these sets come with a Google TV software suite, one of our preferred smart platforms on the market today. There's a ton of app flexibility here, and the navigational experience is simple and easy to learn. Dolby Vision is supported by both models, but the Hisense Uzix H also accounts for HDR10+, available on select streaming apps like AM. Most TV go with Dolby Vision or HDR10+, so the Uzix H is a pleasant, and while both TV support auto low latency mode, only the Uzix H supports variable refresh rate across all sizes in its series. Both TV support 4K gaming at 60Hz. But if you want VRR, you'll have to commit to the Uzix. Being mid-range TV, the Uzix H and ZDK are understandably limited in their hardware. As such, it's important to temper your expectations when it comes to their performance chops. Neither model will blow you away with brightness or infinite contrast but there's plenty to appreciate given their respective price points. The Hisense Uzix H features a VA-style panel with full array LED backlighting a recipe for great. The ZDK doesn't have local dimming, and its ADS-style panel, all great for wider viewing angles, doesn't really get as dark as the Uzix H, even during dark scenes. Whenever bright picture elements are surrounded by darkness, the ZDK struggles to isolate brightness and instead, it bleeds into the black. For these reasons, the Uzix H is a better pick for dark room viewing. Both TV are bright enough to hold up in average lit rooms during the day, but neither get as bright as higher-end HDR TV. The Uzix H is slightly brighter than the ZDK in both SDR and their respective quantum dot color enhancements deliver rich, voluminous color for their class. The Uzix H covers about 93% of the HDR color gamut, DCI-P3, and the ZDK clocks in at around 8 These TV are quite similar in their design approach. Each panel sits atop a pair of wide set, boomerang-shaped feet. Neither model is dangerously wobbly once built, but neither plays the part of a fancy, premium piece of tech. Either, each model offers ample soundbar clearance and each offers a basic cable management system. I prefer the ZDK's narrower feet and panel shape, both which do a slightly better job blending into their surroundings. And if I had to choose between each model's included remote control, I'd choose Sony's every day of the week. The buttons feel better to use, and the shape is slimmer. This is a close category, but the ZDK is a nicer overall package, and the winner is, despite the ZDK's superior image processing, sleeker design, and more diverse selection of screen sizes, the Uzix H is a better fit for more people. It's got better contrast than the ZDK, and given its VRR support, it's an easy pick for casual and dedicated gamers. However, if you suspect you might be sensitive to the Uzix H's body upscaling and jutter-heavy motion handling, the ZDK is a great fallback plan. Sony's superb image processing software makes up for a lot of the ZDK's contrast woes, as its picture tends to look much better than our lab tests would indicate. The Uzix H and the ZDK are two of the best budget-friendly options we've seen so far this year, and both prioritize value above all else. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.